Okay, well, hello, I'm Martin Glennert. So, um, I also just tweeted the mind map I made beforehand. So, if you want, you know, you can follow some points. Uh, you find that on Twitter. Well, um, please, let's have a raise of hand and please do participate, okay? It's fine, you can do it. Okay, please put up your hand if you have ever built a website with WordPress. Okay, great. Please put up your hand if you consider yourself a developer. Okay, please put up your hand if you consider yourself a designer. Okay, please put up your hand if you consider yourself a um, user experience designer or user interaction designer. Okay, one, two, three, four. Actually, I think you should all put up your hand, right? Because if you build WordPress sites, and if you do something in the process, you are a user experience designer, right? Because you make something that end users interact with. OK, let's think about some different perspectives, OK? Think about the last website that you had something to do with, OK? What do you see in front of you? What do you see? Code, right? You're a developer? No? OK. What do you see? Language. OK. Well, I think everyone has their own picture in front, right? So if you code a lot and you think about the website you're currently busy, you're probably thinking about the code. If you're a designer making the design, maybe you think about the Photoshop and how you move that logo to, to a different place and how that looked much better, right? But what are websites? To me, I'm a psychologist, so I think a lot in human interaction patterns, right? And to me, a website, that is just a discussion. That there are two people talking to each other. But it's different from us talking one-to-one, -one, but still, we are talking to each other. And think, think about it can start like a long way. It can start actually with somebody asking a question, typing in something in Google, right? Somebody's having a question. And then what I write, for example, in the meta description of my site, that is like the first answer to that question. You know, somebody's asking, hey, I've got a problem, can you help me? And you're answering, yeah, here I am, I understand you have this problem, and I can give you the solution, just click on my site in the Google search engines, and there we go. So the way I see websites, I see it as a discussion between two people, just it is independent from location, it is independent from time, because you know, there can be like a long time between one discussion and the other one. And it is also independent from the usual roles you have in a discussion, where it's very clear what your goals are and um, what your relationship is to each other. So this is why I like forms a lot, right? Because I think um, forms are the best way to actually talk to each other, because if if I come to the site and I, I want to interact, right? As a human person, I want to interact. So um, I just want to tell you a little bit of how we use forms um, in, in some different sites in order to better interact and have a few, a few gimmicks, OK? So for example, one, um, I live in India also, and often I'm traveling, and I don't even take the computer with me. I have good phone reception, but I only have the phone. And I wanted to send a video to my mother. But Facebook only does like 15 seconds, right? That's pretty complicated. If you send a video by mail, lots of people still have that 10 megabyte inbox cap. They cannot really even receive it. So I just. And, and if I say forms, right, I personally, I use Gravity Forms, but I'm sure what I'm doing you can do with a lot of different plugins, right? So what I did is I just came up with a form that has a file uploader, and you put in your email address, 
and you can record a video uh, with your mobile phone and send to someone else, right? And if you want to try, you can, you can try it. It's yamail.net, and it's basically just a single site with a form on it, right? But just, I think it took me like 45 minutes, and I had built my own free video email service. You know, just by using a form. Um, another great example, I think, and I'm going to take a look of what is the best example to do. OK, another, another great example, I think, what you can use forms for is if you want to try and test new business ideas, right? Because often you don't want to go through the whole process. I don't know if you have read Tim Ferriss' Four Hour Work Week, or if you're into uh, rapid uh, prototyping for business model, or uh, you know if you follow the lean uh, startup and you build, try to build a minimum viable product. Forms can be very handy because, in a very easy way, you can make a form that um, already can take PayPal payments, right? So if you start up with a new project, you might as well um, just build a form you know, and try to make some sales before you actually produce anything. And that's very easy to do with the forms as well. Another great thing I really, really, really like about um, working with forms is that you can actually um, do dynamic uh, you can do something dynamic with the forms, right? So you can ask, for example, um, hey, uh, do you want an offer or do you just want to have a talk with me? And depending on what they click, on what option they choose, right, you present other fields. Or are you, are you a company or are you a um, sole proprietor and do you have a EU VET number or not, right? And you can just show the fields that are appropriate. Why do I like it so much? Because that feels more like a human communication, right? If, if I want to talk to you, I, I don't say, hi, OK, hi, uh, I'm Martin. I, will, I want to know your name, your address, your phone number, your email number, and uh, do, do you want me to call you back? OK, please, let's start at the beginning again, otherwise I get confused. Right? We talk to each other, and it's like, hey, who are you? OK, let me write that down. Hey, uh, do you want me to call you? Ah, OK, then give me your phone number. Right? And I think everything you can do to make a website feel more like a human interaction that will actually greatly benefit the way the people perceive your product. Also, I really much like the, uh, the forms to um, work internally. So we have a lot of forms that the outside world, they don't even see it, right? But for example, with the forms, uh, if you fill in a contact form on my site, there's an email which gets sent to another team member. And in that email, it's already coded uh, the different variables, so name, email, phone number, like this. And the email just says, hey, um, please call that person and talk them through the different project possibilities. Um, they click on the link, they open a form, and pretty much it's like a structured phone call, right? But before, and I'm sure a lot of people know this here, it's very hard if you outsource some work, right? Because usually you're still the one talking to the clients. So with uh, doing something like this, something you already have with your WordPress site, you can very easily uh, use this to automate and outsource some of your processes. OK. Because I have just one minute, let me give, give you the top 10 tips I have, right? OK, redirect after form submission. Not just do a thank you, but redirect to a URL. That's so nice. Send them a confirmation email that you have received the data. Use an external SMTP plugin for WordPress. Don't send out emails from the form via the server. Um, Email is also very nice for like a 
cheat man's API, right? You can send the email to Trello, you can send it to your uh, uh, CRM, everything like this. Okay, use a ticket system. Don't let the emails go into your normal inbox, right? Send them to a ticket system. It's so much more fun. Um, and if you have a membership site or an internal site, right, where people are logged in anyway, well, that's great. You don't need to ask them again. You can have hidden fields in your form which have the, the real name or the WordPress username or the email in them, and you can do lots of magic with that. Okay, thank you very much. If you want to know more about um, how, what, what you can do with forms or if you want to see some uh, examples of, of funny or a uh, little bit um, cool stuff we've done with that, just come and talk to me. Thank you.